You put the pieces together. Jessica Watts was reassembling her mother, Melinda, gathering her missing organs to allow Melinda a decent burial. Organ Sam sold for a quick buck after her death. The ghoul attack after the ceremony didn't appear to be part of Lynn Telestrian's attempt to get you out of Jessica's way. They were just more victims of magic's helter-skelter return to the world. Lynn's well-armed security unit, almost said secretary unit, Lynn's well-armed security <laughs> unit was a different animal entirely. They, well, I don't know, in the Shadowrun universe, they probably do have well-armed secretary units. You might, you know, you, I would. You might have, like, you know, cyborg mercenaries blasting their way through an office building at a moment's notice. Yeah. <clears throat> you head back to the Union to resupply and rearm. <clears throat> Whatever Lynn and Jessica are involved with, it appears to be a large operation, and the trail leads to the Universal Brotherhood. Universal Brotherhood might be a familiar name to people who are... who know some things about the uh, Shadowrun background lore. Actually, their actions interact, intersected rather dramatically with my uh, home, with my native Chicago. Oh. It be, might be potential spoiler to, uh, for this game to say how, but. Oh, I think I think we talked about them a little bit before. Um, did we not? I don't think about uh, the Brotherhood. I don't think so. At least not much. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll learn about them soon enough. Don't worry. Do I have any other body parts I could I should ha I want to have lopped off? Not not um, not at the moment. I don't think. You just had the one leg, right? Did you get both of them? Well, I I, I kind of got to figure that like it just means like it's like I've got like two upgrade slots in my legs. Not that I've actually. Oh. Chopped one leg off, you know, to be metal, and left the other one intact. I'm assuming. <laughs> I could be. I could be wrong. I don't know. If 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 anyone want, if anyone from Fasa Corporation wants to, you know, time travel from an era when Fasa Corporation still existed and correct me, then by all means. Ooh, I could poke. Or Fasa. Could poke my eyes out. Put vision magnification eyes. Only three percent to hit. I don't know if poking them is what you'd be doing. Well, I'm I'm sure that's not the medical term. <laughs> I I assume. Although I don't know, maybe it is. I sort of enjoy the idea of like medical personnel using like really crude, blunt, violent terminology. <laughs> poking it. So you know, it's like. I don't know this <clears throat> boy. You could, like you, you go to get an appendectomy, and the doctor's like, "Okay, we're gonna rip part of your guts out." And <laughs> yep. Uh... Okay, I'm already. Yeah, I'm already. I'm I'm already equipped with the latest and greatest, pretty much, including my, uh, as you may recall, my Hotline Miami mask. <laughs> yeah. What armor type was that again? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Outfit. Ganger mask. Taken off a dead right. ganger. Which seemed like a good idea at the time. Quickness plus one. <laughs> HP plus five. Armor six. Okay. I've got eight karma to spend. Comes and goes. Comes and goes. Oh, I don't know how much of that we can sing without getting flagged. Nah. I don't want boy George's lawyers after us. <laughs> I'm going to speak really ignorantly. Is he still alive? I think so. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm like George S. Patton who died in 1945, Nick. <laughs> and that joke may or may not make sense depending on when this com comes out compared to when which re that wrestling video. Actually, no, I'm sure yeah. this this will come out after. So it, let's see here. Ooh, I could if I boost drone combat to five, I get drones get armor plus two. Oh, no, okay, I'm gonna do that because then because huh. then once I get drones to six, they actually get a bonus AP. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, cool. All right, so, yeah, I want to work towards that. 
All right. So Johnny Five and as you may recall, my flying drone is named Bob. After Bob from uh, the Black Hole. Voice, yes, right. Voice okay. of Slim Pickens. The one and only. Great movie, by the way. <laughs> All right. Ah, there's my. There's the guy who owns my neighborhood bar. Spitting image. All right. Now we got to. We got to hire a crew, Nick. All right. Oh, 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 Coyote's already on the team, and she's free. So. Okay. Okay. So she's, you know, she's uh, she's the tough chick with. What was that? Okay. All right. She's the tough chick with a shotgun. I'm the guy with the army of robots. We probably need some. So we need some magic. We need some magic. Yitzhak Rothenberg. Hmm. He's a dwarf. Darling Devant, who looks like he should be in some, like, German techno band or something. <laughs> now is the time in the shuttle run when we dance! I, I love the, 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 this Decker's name, Grim Peeper. <laughs> Grim Peeper. He sees the data people try to hide. It can be yours for a price. Jenny Hex. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she's got she's got some good buff spells, which are handy to have. Mana Ball. Two. Nice. Good offensive spells. She's got healing. Skills. Oh, willpower five and spell spellcasting five. Okay, she's. All right, Jenny Hex is the name to beat at this point. Hmm. She's got a good name too. Yeah. Sonia Krieger. Well, does it say what? I'm sorry. What's that? Um. Does it say what um, weapon Jenny Hex has? Yeah, she's got um, I'm wondering if... level 2 Power Bolt and the Ares Predator uh, handgun. Which is actually a pretty beefy weapon. Which is actually a fairly beefy weapon. Although hmm. for her, you, the Power Bolt, you'd want her to use more. And she's got actually got three, three in ranged combat and three in pistol, which is pretty, pretty respectable for a mage. And body, and body five. She's tough. Jeez. I wonder if she's at all a reference to Jonah Hex. Oh yeah. Okay, we got one more. We could use a shaman, perhaps. Hmm. You know, they they can they have the heels, right? Uh actually no. The well, I th mages. That's a mage thing. Okay. Which is kind of, which is kind of interesting because it's like. I don't know, it's just, I, I, when I, I always think of, like, when I think of, like, multiple, different, like, types of magic teacher, I go back to the, I usually think back to the D&D &D stereotype, you know? Where there's yeah. the, the offensive guys, and then there's the healing defensive guys. But that, it doesn't really work that way in this. Yeah. Let's see. I almost want to hire Yitzhak Rothenberg just so I can have a Jewish dwarf samur street samurai on my team. <laughs> I mean, I like the appeal of it. That's oh, for sure. He's got um. Yitzhak. He's got Ares dermal plating. Adds plus two armor, and oh, he's got the Az technology cyber leg, which I believe is also what I have. He's a kindred spirit. Nice. He's a kindred spirit. Let's see. Let's see here. See what these shamans have. I don't. Most of the shaman spells in this are, at least to my mind, really not that great, with the exception of haste. All right. Hmm. Okay, Yitzhak, you are on the team, and I'm just going to have to trust in my willpower to not end up saying something really offensive. 
<laughs> Doing like my Jackie Mason voice or something. All right. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to roll. Oh, he's got two high explosive grenades as well. That <laughs> do 20 damage. Nice. Oh. Wow. Yes. Sweet. It's got oh. everybody. All right. We are ready to, to the nine, so. We are ready to go to church. You may recall for spirit summoning purposes, I actually have some very limited spirit summoning abilities. Which right, so, yeah. So we can summon, we can occasionally summon one, or at least and use it, or at least have it go hilariously out of control. <laughs> All right, here we are towards Brotherhood. It takes nearly an hour for the taxi to make its way from the squalor of the Redmond Barrens across the bridge to the Seattle waterfront and the Universal Brotherhood. The building is a pre-crash brick job with a fancy new facade that sports neon highlights and an enormous set of glass double doors. Through the windows, you can see activity within, smiling, happy disciples shuffling along in beige pajamas and slippers. A greeter stands outside the door, gently attempting to entice the misbegotten and the curious to enter and take their first baby steps towards brotherhood. Pike Place Market is, unusually, is, is usually empty by now, but you step out of the cab to the sounds of an excited crowd. All right. Flandry is fully... ready to rock. Got... got Johnny Five, I got Bob, got my rifle. Which, um... I'm here by naming Jesse, just because. <laughs> and here we go. I'm going to try to do this the sneaky, subtle way. Where's the fun in that? Well... Oh, it's quite, quite the crowd. A lot of people hmm. out with umbrellas. In the rain. Oh, it's like people are, are lining up over there. Is this supposed to be Seattle? Yes. Hmm. I will tell you as a Washingtonian that people who use umbrellas in Seattle are made fun of. Really? Yeah. They say you can tell a local from a tourist because the tourists are people who wear, who have umbrellas. The, the locals figure what umbrellas are for the week. Yeah. Most of them just wear like the hooded jackets, the well, windbreaker, to be, well, to be fair, slicker at most. In the rather unpleasant Seattle of 2054, for all I know, the rain will, like, you know, gradually melt your face or something. Yeah. Okay, but, yeah, okay, there's this big crowd, and they were talking, okay, but they were saying something about uh, Maria Mer Mercurial, who actually we've heard mentioned before. She's, like, a like a big, like, pop singer. Yeah, hmm. Mer Maria Mercurial fan. The fan is apparently excited to be in the same city as the rock star. Hey, how you doing? You here for the Maria Mercurial concert? Let's see. Uh, no, just passing by. Well, you're in for a treat. If you stick around for a few hours, I hear she's better than ever. I'm going to try and find a better spot to hear. Maybe I should have asked him if he could get me in. 